Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a jet gun on the new Black Ops 6 Zombies map, Liberty Falls. The jet gun is the wonder weapon of the map, so you're going to need it for the Easter egg. So the first thing you want to do when you're opening up the map is go over to Lily's Flower Pot. This is on your way to the church, and you just have to grab the water valve right off of it right there. Now, then you're going to make your way over to Liberty Lanes, which is the bowling alley on the map. And once you get inside of the bowling alley, you're going to go over to a panel next to the counter and melee it and then place the water valve on there. Now you're relieving pressure of the water and I recommend running any type of thing like decoy grenades, for example, would help a lot. But essentially, unlimited zombies are going to spawn whether you're playing solo or co-op. So if you're playing solo, you really want to avoid as much zombies as possible so try to kill some of them if you can and then just make your way back and forth over to the valve and off the valve if you're getting hit and eventually you'll end up getting the gauges now do keep in mind that the water pressure will rise if you don't do this fast enough so you want to make sure you're going pretty fast but there you can get the valves for the jet gun the next thing you're going to do is make your way over to the church and make sure that the church is open. This is the only way that you can get the next thing to spawn. And we're going to try to get to spawn is by getting kills inside of the graveyard. Eventually, you'll get the groundskeeper zombie. Now, once you kill him, he's going to drop a key for a shed. So you just go over there and grab the key and you're going to make your way over to the shed, which is next to the build table. Or you may go this way when you're going to the bank or church it doesn't really matter but anyways you go right over here you open up this shed and you're going to get the handbrake right on the table right there now the last and final part guys is going to be by getting a mangler cannon now you can kill a mangler by shooting it in its cannon and it may drop it you can get a mutant injection or like i like to do you can just buy a mangler cannon for 1250 right on the table so what you're going to do is make your way over to the electronic store which is called radio house and you're going to pull out the mangler cannon and shoot it right at the door and it's going to break now there are four different piles of debris on the floor now all you have to do is open up the debris now there is one behind the counter but i didn't end up needing to use that one so if you're wondering where that one was but i ended up using this debris which was right here on um, once the round ended and i ended up getting the wires for the jet gun so now that you got all of those parts all you have to do is make your way over to the motel and there is a door that will open when you get close enough and zombies are going to sp run out of it and basically all you got to do is kill them and once you kill them you can make your way inside of that room where you have the jet engine and just add the parts and you have the jet gun it's really really easy to build and it's a lot of fun to use as well i hope this video helped you out and if it did please drop a like and subscribe if you're new and if you do end up subscribing let me know down below in the comments so i can reply and say thank you